Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Arcanize, back with another video. Doom Patrol is officially back. The first three episodes of Season 2 have been released, and I am here to talk about them, review them, give you guys my thoughts. If you don't know, I'm a humongous fan of the first season of Doom Patrol. I was so looking forward to this, and I do have to say, it lived up to the hype. Before we really get into the details, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Doom Patrol content as well as movies, entertainment, and geeky content. So, Doom Patrol is back, and I would say these first three episodes were, were great. I mean, I was expecting them to be good. They are very good. Now, I will probably go into some spoilers, so... If you, you know, if you're not really into getting spoiled, you haven't seen it, just go away, come back later. But, these three episodes really showed what Doom Patrol is. You get that the Niles called their relationship after they've learned he was responsible for all their accidents, but they still are loyal to him because of how much he helped them, and I think that's a, um, a really interesting dynamic in the show. Now, obviously, Dorothy, Niles' daughter, is very prominent in these first three episodes, and she is quite interesting. We see her, I guess, somewhat imaginary friends that, uh, if Niles wasn't there, could come out, and then the main plot line right now is... Niles is finally dying after like 139 years or whatever because he gave up his necklace to enlarge the Doom Patrol again. And so I think that's quite interesting. I'll tie it back to the Chief. And most of the characters' arcs to this point, I think, are really good. You have Rita kind of connecting to Dorothy and being kind of the empathetic person in that group. You have Jane struggling with her drug addiction, and then in episode three, she goes to the underworld, and it's very interesting. You know, her her psychological, you know, mind, it's so cool what they're doing with it. And then Cliff, Robot Man, he is still, like, he's very angry, and they're making that apparent which is relatable, and I feel for him. He's also just extremely funny. And then, obviously, he does go back to his daughter, which I was hoping for. I was hoping they'd bring back his daughter into this story, and they did in the third episode, so that was pretty cool. I love seeing, as they were still tiny, kind of the, um, the ways they made them, you know, able to do more. They, they live in these tiny houses on, uh, on like a play town thing, which I thought was cool. They have a little mini elevator to go down, and then Cliff is fighting rats, and that whole first episode with what they did, I just thought was so funny and so unique and so Doom Patrol. And then Cyborg is having this relationship with another girl, which I guess kind of came out of nowhere, but... I, de I do think it's interesting. Cyborg's arc is probably my least favorite of the main cast, but I understand why they are doing it. Now, style-wise, I feel like they kept the same tone as the first season. Everything seems pretty in check. I'm honestly not huge on the Dorothy character, but she is interesting, and I do want to know more about her. She's just, uh, she's not grasping me right away. But I definitely would say that these episodes were a strong start. I actually think the third episode was my favorite, and then the first episode was great. The second episode, I wasn't that big on with Larry going to his son's funeral and all the other stuff. But it, it is still pretty pretty solid. So, I would give these three episodes as a whole like a 9 out of 10. I mean, they were extremely solid. I just have little issues. If you have seen these episodes of Doom Patrol, do let me know what you think down below in the comments. God, I'm so happy it's back. I will see you in the next video. Peace.